Wanna move my feet Wanna drink my wine 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 Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today is Sunday. I'm so excited to be here. Ralph and I are at Alternative Beach, which is um, a beach club, but it's like alternative to a beach. <laughs> alternative beach, literally. So there's a sand bar in the back, and then there's a nice pool here, and there's some accommodation, restaurant on that side, and then over here, there's actually a jacuzzi in the back, and then a um, little bar on the pool. So I'm gonna show you guys that soon. But it's been so long since I've talked to you, since catch up with you. How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing well. I'm here with Ralph and we're just enjoying Sunday because Sunday is our day off. The day that we just chill by the pool, go and explore Shenggu, right? And we are in Perenanan, right? Batu Balong. I always say that. So we're in Batu Balong right now. <laughs> it's like on the opposite side of um, the shortcut, right? On the yeah. other side. like So there's, after the shortcut, there's Perenanan? Batu Bolong. <laughs> There's Batu Bolong and then Perenanan, right? Yes. I want to check out Perenanan. It seems like a cool area. And the reason why I'm saying that is because we have some news that I might have to share with you guys because we might be moving. We might be moving. We don't know yet. So the place we're staying at is like surf place that they allowed people to stay long. Like they switched it during the pandemic to allow anybody to stay, but it originally is um, surf a surf camp because Bali is now open. They're thinking of switching it back, but how do you feel about that, Ralph? I'm excited. Yeah. Something new. It wouldn't be a bad thing for us to have a change once in a while, so we're excited about that. But what's been going on with you guys? Let me know. Comment down below how you've been feeling, what you've been up to. Like, yeah, I do miss the vlogs once in a while. Talk to you guys face to face. I'm gonna just enjoy this time. Ralph and I are gonna drink, drink some juice and coconut water. Read, relax, watch some YouTube, and then go jump in the pool. Today is Tuesday and I decided to come to the beach to get a good workout and oh, such a nice and sunny day. Look at this view. So I'm at Cabanon. I think I filmed this once in a video for you guys. Such a nice restaurant. Right on the beach. And after a nice little workout, I'm gonna get myself something refreshing. Thank you. There's nothing like a good workout and then drinking coconut water. Oh best thing you can do on the beach man i never caught up with you guys after sunday so today is tuesday like i said but sunday after i hung out by the pool we ended up going to a game night and meet up with some friends um i didn't bring the camera so i just filmed a little bit but it was really nice we just went out to eat and then played some game settlers of Catan. that's like that's like ralph's favorite game now 
so we played that by the way i wanted to let you know that if you enjoyed the video please 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 hit a like it really helps share and if you want me to do more vlogs definitely subscribe for more videos breakfast Ralph and I ended up checking out a couple of places for us to move into the first one was a really nice building that had a downstairs common space with a TV couch pool workout area and also dining slash workspace and the pros for this place is that they have an elevator and a rooftop pool so when you get into the top floor they have another common space where you can just relax and when you head out they have more chairs and hangout lounge spots and and then the rooftop pool that has a beautiful view of the beach. So it's really nice area. Now the cons for this place has to be the actual room. This is more of a hotel room, not an apartment space for me. It was very small, like really nice design, but really small. When you walk in, there was just the bed, a little desk there and a window. So there wasn't enough space for two people in my, my opinion. I feel like it's great for one person, but not for a couple. And the bathroom was clean, but very tight. And the next place that we looked at is a hotel that does allow long-term stay. So the pros for me right away would be that they have a beautiful pool. It's a quiet area and also they have a common space. So they do have a shared kitchen, a dining space, and also a fridge that you can use. So that was really nice. The cons would be that the room is pretty small and also the bathroom is very tight. It's all an all-in-one bathroom, no separation for me. And also the fact that I saw saw some mold so to me that was the con and the wi-fi was okay the third place that we looked at was really well organized the way that it was located it's like you have your own little villa but you have different rooms with one view of the pool and some rooms were bigger than others depending on which one that you got so we saw one that was really large that's definitely the pros of this place the rooms were really big most of them and had the tv and the bathroom the other pro of this thing the bathroom was so big we could get a full tub shower toilet closet and also the vanity so it was really nice and they have a lot of greenery around so that was really a beautiful spot to look at now the cons for this was the price was way too high and also the fact that you don't have a shared kitchen again no shared kitchen no common space besides the room even though you have the pool there was nothing else but that and in the last place that we looked at was a really spacious room i really liked how bright it was there were a lot of windows so it made it very bright so the pros were definitely that the room is large enough has also a desk and then there's also a balcony which was one thing that we don't see much of so it felt like you had another like living space which was great and this place also comes with a pool it was really well located so i would say those are really good pros now the cons for this place was that the bathroom was very dark and a bit outdated there was also some mold damage i did see that and another thing is they don't have a common kitchen so again with these places when there's no common kitchen there's no way for us to just boil a little water just do like little ramen or just tea there's no way for you to do that and to me i feel like that is a deal breaker so unfortunately i don't know if i would be able to take that but the price here was very nice and again the staff at all these places were very very helpful so we are gonna keep looking i'll keep you guys updated on that and definitely check out the description box for more information so i'm dropping ralph off at finn's club right now this is where he plays basketball and he's just eating an apple now because he can't bring in food so he's just eating it quickly and then i'm gonna go have dinner have fun babe go get him so i just stopped at this italian restaurant here so i can eat some dinner and then i'm gonna go pick up ralph again oh thank you wow that looks beautiful thank you so it just got me the vegan bolognese uh, pasta 
at this restaurant. Everything is vegan here apparently. So vegan Italian restaurant. So let's see how it measures up. Now this it smells very zesty. The girl upstairs first, I'm like, no, 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 I, 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 told, you. I told her I'm coming to pick you up. They close in 10 minutes, it's okay. No way, what time is it? 8.30? 8.40? 8.00, 8, 8 no, no way. At 7.40? Oh. Yeah. Hey. We got So today's Wednesday and on Wednesday I usually try to do my finances I try to maybe if I have to pay my credit card or do some things finance related I do that and then I also want to get a little bit of my NLP work done I haven't done that in a long time if you guys have been watching a lot of my videos I talked about how I'm doing neuro linguistic programming which is programming that helps you better your life like find your own answers your own reasons why you want to do things so I ended up on Monday going to this bookstore in Shingu because I was looking for a clipboard you know that one that has the backboard with the clip at the top so you can just print papers and just clip them there because I print a lot of my NLP documents so I wanted to find something like that so I went to the, the bookstore and unfortunately everything there was for children so I found a clipboard but but it was so animated and for me when it comes to work um, when I'm doing work I need my documents or my stuff to be basic so that my mind can be free I hope that makes sense like I am already a creative person in my head so I'm the one that's gonna create and write things too many designs I feel like it's very distracting so I really like to have simple designs or simple you know writing notebooks or stuff like that that help me so I couldn't find it, ended up getting a notebook instead. This is the only one that I found that was just a basic writing notebook with penguins on it. This is literally the only one that was basic. And if you guys know a place in Shengu where I can find just basic notebooks, let me know. But anyway, after that, I ended up doing a little bit of shopping, which is why you guys see this cute little dress I'm wearing. Um, I don't do a lot of shopping, but I thought this was a really cute little number that I found because there are a lot of sales right now because of this holiday so i got this dress and i gotta say a lot of the times when it comes to shopping in bali it could be a hit or miss sometimes you find some great quality stuff and at a great price or sometimes you get a great price it looks good and then when you wash it the dye washes out completely so make sure you really <laughs> do your research before you buy even if you're buying local you can find good quality local and also cheap local so definitely look at that but for me i saw right there you can see the stitching on this one look at that you can tell it's well sewn so it's gonna last and it's so beautiful i feel like it brings out my feminine side so i got two like this and then i also got some shorts and a shirt. it took a few hours to 
hours later and we're now at this Italian restaurant called Rust Pizza. And we just get, I'm here with Ralph. Hello. <laughs> we're just getting some pizza because today, well tomorrow is Nyepi, which is the holiday I told you guys about earlier. We just don't know where it is. Apparently like it's like a parade you can go to, you walk and then watch the activities. But since tomorrow a lot of restaurants are going to be closed, we thought let's just go eat somewhere sit out and hang out for a little bit and then we'll be able to stay home all day tomorrow and i'll give you guys more facts about nippy but apparently you can't use electricity or something like that electricity <laughs> right, let me help so electricity will be on wi-fi and data on your phone will likely be slower than usual um all lights have to be turned off you cannot have any lights on and, and you have to be quiet you, you, you cannot be uh, speaking so okay. do you know the reason why they do that you can tell them i think i know but i'm not too sure so the reason why apparently is um because they want bali to be completely dead so it's a way to send the i guess the evil spirits away and make them think there is nothing to do here so <laughs> they can go on their way so yeah it's interesting because I was telling our friends earlier, like for us in Haiti, the culture in March is um, celebrate the dead. You know, we celebrate it by partying. Uh, <laughs> but what day is that? I know, but it's in March. What is the day? Madiga. Madiga. Uh, the day of the dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, right away. Great pizza. I got margarita. I always get margarita. So we're back from the Ogo Ogo celebration. We went to the little parade where basically they have these big statues of demons that they decorate and they parade them all over the streets and you basically watch them and at the end of it they're supposed to burn them but I guess it's not gonna happen because as you guys saw we got stuck in the rain. It started pouring so hard <laughs> and this is actually in Denpasar. I actually had left my raincoat and Ralph's raincoat in the bike so I had to wait for Ralph to go back there pick it up and then kind of pick me up and then we left so some people ended up putting the statues down and like beating them in the streets and stuff um, i don't know if i was able to show some footage of that but that was the gist of it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys definitely want to see more vlogs please please hit the like button i'll make me know that you guys want to see more videos like this i will continue to make some <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the next one bye